In the previous video, we talked about installing uh, at the global level a set of rules for PHP CS to use when it does its code sniffing. Those are really just a backstop. What you can do now with an annotated rule set is you can, you can give um, PHP CS a set of specific or even custom rules for your project. Now, the way PHP CS works is if you're in a directory and you type the PHP CS command, it's going to look for an annotated rule set first. What does that mean? All right, so if we look at phpcs-i, you can see I have all of these custom rule sets installed at a global level. But I've, I'm now in a project, and if I do an ls and look, I have a phpcs.xml file. This is an annotated rule set. Now, what does that rule set look like? It looks like this. It's an XML file. It has a name. It's called Web Dev Studios, a description, and then it has a couple of rules. Now, this rule right here is referencing WordPress Extra. What it's telling PHP CS is, hey, I need you to use WordPress Extra, which is installed globally, and I need you to exclude these rules from WordPress Extra. Likewise, it also wants you to sniff the current file or the set of files using WordPress Docs, also Squiz, and et cetera, et cetera. The custom or the annotated rule set is kind of like a melting pot, a hodgepodge of all kinds of different or custom rules that you want on this particular project. For example, some of our clients have their own custom rules that we at uh, Web Dev Studios have to follow, and that's this GEG CS. Okay, so that's what an annotated rule set is. So if I were to run PHP CS against like 404.php, which is in my directory right here, um, PHP CS is automatically going to scan the WDS directory. Let's take a look at what that looks like. And it's going to look for an annotated rule set, which is right here. And it's going to follow the instructions that are in this file. So if I hit enter, it found an error and it's letting me know about it. If you don't have a top level rule set or an annotated rule set in your project root, PHP CS will fall back until it finds a standard like this. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to set a custom standard in the command line tool.